All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy LDA from LDA Production. It goes out to all the people that do music like I do. Now, um, a very popular effect nowadays is the whole uh, auto tune effect, also known as the T Pain effect. Um, now, I know there's a lot of videos about this, what I'm about to show you, but they don't go into depth like I'm about to. And what I'm going to show you a lot of people don't show you and that's how to get G Snap into FL Studios and also uh, get audio into FL Studios. I have another video about how to get audio into FL Studios so I hope you watch that before you did come in here so that way you do know how to get audio so I don't have to go through that and make this a 10 minute video. I want to get this video done as fast as possible. Okay, so Okay, so first off, this is the um, Antares, Antares, or however you say it. This um, they have an Auto Tune uh, product, Auto Tune Evo, and it's about two hundred dollars, I believe. But um, they have a free trial that you can get for seven days. Now, this Auto Tune has really high quality. I'm sure everybody watching this video has probably already downloaded this demo. But um, I haven't really found that many free. I haven't even found a way to get it free like I always do. So um, if I do, I'll be sure to shoot that to you. But for now, there is a free uh, VST plugin. And for those of you who don't know what VST plugins are, they're basically just um, plugins that you. Um, import into your software that allow you to use outside effects that don't come with the software so um it's really cool okay so G let me just close this out because we don't need this anymore okay this is uh gvst.co.uk slash gsnap etc etc but the easiest way to find that is not to type that in but to um to go to Google and type in GSnap, and then this is the first thing that pops up. Or I'll put the link. In, um, I'll try to put the link in the descriptions if I remember to do so. But um, let's get down to while we're really here. You want to uh, so you want to download GSnap, uh, whatever skin you want. This is the uh, original one that, which I have, and this is the uh, other skin. Okay, so you want to download that. Okay, after you do that, I hope you already watched my uh, video on how to import. Uh, audio into FL Studios 8. Otherwise, uh, this would be a 10 minute video because I'd have to go do another tutorial on that as well. And that's probably why my last video was a little too long. But this is better anyway because I didn't have Camtasia. I was recording literally with the camera, so it was pretty bad. Okay, so, okay, we're gonna get some audio going in here. I already um, pre did a track that I imported in here. I did a lot of them actually. Um, so there's a lot here. Uh, G snap test. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you heard that or not, but it was really bad. Okay, um, yeah, it, it was an auto tune test. So, anyways, okay, I'm gonna drag that right there. Um, I know I kind of forced it a little bit, but hey, you know, I was just trying to get my point across that this is a great product. Okay. So you're going to want to stretch it out for however long your audio is. That way you can get the effect going. And after you do that efficiently, sufficiently, you're going to um, click on here and until you get this screen here. You want to click this arrow on the top right and go assign free mixer track. Now your mixer track is five, but you can just use one. And um, okay, where's your G-Snap at? I haven't used this in a while, so it probably just reset the thing. So, um, what you're going to do is hit more, and these are all your plugins that you have on your computer. Now, when you under VST plugin, here you have this. I'm going to throw that in there. I doubt it's going to let me do it, but um, because my seven day trial is up, so throw that in there. But uh, G Snap, make sure it has an F by that. Now, um, once you hit refresh, uh, do a fast scan and it scans and your stuff is in so you can go ahead and X out of that now once you go back to here here's G snap and here's auto tune EVST Evo ST. I'm gonna try to use auto tune but I'm pretty it's not responding so I'm gonna Okay, trial has expired, so I'm just going to quit out of that. Um, okay, so let me go to the original one, G-Snap. And you see G-Snap opens here. Now, what I did, I went ahead and uh, went to fix mode. Go to fix mode, because unless you have a MIDI keyboard, that's not going to mean anything for you. Now, what I did was um, I made presets. 
um, presets I tweaked the settings and made a preset into auto tune as you can see here and that's the best effect that I like to get now once you select your scale I like to go with the C scale you can start playing okay and now you can kinda hear that effect going you you can hear that effect getting any really in there now I didn't really uh, try to sing or anything because I know I can't but I just wanted to get off pitch as much as I can that way you can hear all the corrections to make sure it's working okay so now after that you can close G snap down and uh, we have G snap as an actor effect going here and you can hear it yeah so I'm running a little bit over time and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching this is the LDA production tutorial um, with random review and if you have any more questions please feel free to comment and um, if you want anything reviewed and your subscriber go ahead and uh, shoot me a comment because I do listen to my subscribers so thanks for watching and hopefully you'll subscribe if you're not already a subscriber